I have met people who have been together for 50 years and still hold hands and start super cute. I was a nurse and I had patients that were 80 years old. And I'm like, how have you been together for 50 years? Like, what's the secret? I'll, you want to know why? Why? Because the women were different back then. Yep. Way different. I'm going to keep it simple with you. Shit. A lot of women want to get married, yeah. but they don't want to be wives. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and an example of that, who initiates the divorces? Who breaks up the families? It's the women, man. Like the statistical data is there. Like men will tr always try to make a marriage work, but it's the women that leave. Yeah, after he wanted to fuck a thousand other women. But back then, women were willing to put up with a lot. Right exactly. now, women yeah. are not. My grandparents That's have weird. been married since they were 17. Yeah. My grandpa had a whole other kid with another another woman, and she still stood by him. Why? Because she was willing to put up with it. Nowadays, women are not willing to put up with, let, 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 with anything. Let me ask you, was it a good environment for your parents for the most part? For my grandparents? No, for your parents. To live underneath your grandparents. Oh, probably not. Why, why? Why do you say probably not? Why? Because of that's infidelity. That's fighting. That's you're, you're seeing. Why is my mom divorced now? Why? Because she look what she grew up to. Or maybe you're. I don't know. Your no, mom no, person, ahead, but maybe your mom decided I'm going to prioritize me over the family. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When you raise a kid in a divorced household and you put, you prioritize your sense of happiness first, what ends up happening is that the kid suffers a brunt of that negative energy and that choice that you make. So when I say this, is like your grandparents went like family units the most important thing. It is absolutely amazing, isn't it? How quickly these guys can hamster rationalize everything to make it a woman's fault, okay? Like they start off by saying, oh, it's women that break up the family because more divorces are filed by women and men will always try the hardest to make it work but women are the ones that break up the family and then go on about how it's because uh, the woman should have forgiven the man for cheating <laughs> okay and then go on about how like oh in the past women put up this because they were putting the family first but nowadays w women aren't putting family first they're being selfish it's like d do you not think right that if a man is putting his family first he would not cheat on his wife okay do you not think that like if a man knows that going and having sex with another woman means uh if his wife finds out, which she probably will, she will be broken hearted. And then if they get divorced, the children are going to suffer. OK, it can be very damaging for children when the parents break up. OK, um, it can cause them like all different kinds of anxieties, emotional problems, mental health issues. Their schoolwork can suffer. OK, the guy should have thought about that before he cheated. OK, he should have put his family before like thinking with his privates. OK. And these guys hamster rationalize this to say, oh, it's the woman's fault. She broke up the family. But, you know, even if she didn't, even if the woman stayed with the guy, if she said, like, OK, I'm worried uh, about the kids. Uh, so even though I'm not happy about it, I'm, I'm not going to divorce him. I'm going to stay with the kid. I'm going to stay with him. OK. The thing is, their relationship might never recover because there's hurt there. OK. And what happens is, like, when when um, people when people stay together, when, when one of them has done something that the other one can't forgive, is that they don't move on they keep arguing they keep fighting okay because they can't forgive the other person right and this as well would cause upset and heartache for the children okay so whichever way you look at it if you che if you cheat on your partner you're likely to just destroy the whole family like whether it's through divorce or if you stay together and cause an unhappy like environment then the kids are still gonna suffer and like if, if you really like love and respect your partner you wouldn't do that okay because some people say like um if it's the man that cheats they say like Oh, but he still loves her. It's not that he doesn't love her, okay? It's just that men have this higher sex drive, but he still comes back to his wife. She's still the one he cares about. And I think, like, well, he doesn't respect her, okay? Um, He doesn't have, like, any respect for her. That's that's the, the sort of difference, okay? I think a man who, like, if he went, if he was out some one night and some hot woman flirted with him and uh, he thought he could have sex with her and, like, his wife would never find out, okay, he might still love his wife, but I think he doesn't respect her, okay? And um, if seen as, like, red pillars, always tell um, men that they shouldn't put up with cheating women and be bearing in mind women can have high sex drives too and women can be tempted too okay and a woman can't use the same excuse and seen as men aren't supposed to put up with it if a, if a woman doesn't want to put up with it they have their right as well i must make this work even though i may not be completely content i understand we're aspiring to something bigger which is our sense of community i'm not going to break that up because you did some i thought was wrong so you get down to your parents' generation. This is the boomer generation, the highest divorce rates we've ever seen. Now everything's about me. They go to divorce courts. Where's your assets? Where's your money? They don't bring up love during that whole period. They say, I want everything Excellent. that you fucking got. Love yep. never comes in, right? So then you get to this generation and they just completely throw that out. And I think one thing that the West, and I think in Western countries, we, we think about a lot is like, me, it's always about me. Mm -hmm. Not recognizing when you marry, it's about a community. So your desires sometimes have to be a bit on the back burner. Okay, again, if your desires have to be a bit on the back burner and it's not all about you, then that should apply to the man as well, okay? If he has entered into a marriage where he has promised to be faithful forever, then that should apply to the guy as well. And you have to understand you are sacrificing for something like exactly. Exactly. Really quickly, um, just a quick question. So do you feel like also men think about me when they sleep with another woman knowing they have a family? 
This is what I would say. When you come into a marriage, you have to ask, is everyone doing their duty and their responsibility? Is he bringing home the bread? Is he taking care of the bills? Do you guys all have a roof over your head? Does he handle almost all the large responsibilities? If he does, he's done his part. In that same token, you as a wife, have you been supportive? Have you created and fostered a home where when he comes to you, it's not stress and you don't just come home, start nagging his ear off. He's like, damn, I don't want to be here. Let me go back. Okay, first of all, doing your part in a relationship is being faithful and loyal as well. That is your part in a relationship, okay? Um, and if the woman has done all her part in a relationship, if she's been a good wife and a good mother and done everything brilliantly like she's meant to, does that mean that she's allowed to cheat and he shouldn't mind because uh, well, she's uh, doing everything that she, a good wife is supposed to. And, and like, it goes on about how, like, oh, well, if he's coming home to nagging, uh, that's why he goes off with another woman. Well, well, that could work both ways, you know? Like, if a woman's got a husband who takes out um, a lot of stress on her or because he's stressed at work, like, does that mean that um, it's okay for her to cheat because her husband's not treating her very well, okay? Um, but also, like, they always come at things from... Um, Thinking like uh, everybody's living the traditional lifestyle, okay, which most people aren't nowadays. Like, it's not uncommon for the woman to earn just as much as her husband or even more than her husband sometimes. And it's not always the case that the man is the provider, okay? And I kind of think this attitude of thinking like, well, as long as he's, you know, providing and he's paying all the bills and he's buying you everything you want, he should be able to cheat. This is, this is almost kind of like blackmail, okay? And I don't think highly of the women who put up with it either. But I mean, you know, I, I have seen this kind of thing happen before. Like, I knew a woman who, like, her husband was always buying her, like, expensive presents but like everybody knew like it's because he's seeing other women okay and it's almost like a kind of like i'll just shut her up by buying her this and it's like that's not a healthy relationship okay these people they might put on a front to other people they might pretend like oh you know we're in love we've lasted all these years but behind closed doors they might be arguing that there's resentment there's hurt there or if it was a case of in the past women put up with husbands that cheat on them or husbands that treat them badly because you know women didn't have as many sort of career options back then or at one time like women weren't allowed their own bank account and all that you know sometimes women were actually trapped in unhappy and toxic relationships okay streets you know have you done your job also on that end and if you have then a lot of the stuff on the outside becomes super super fluid. and i would say you guys talk about this you're like infidelity the worst you go to a lot of those other countries that's baked in that's normal they already know what time it is yeah. so we yeah. talk about it here like wow but over there it's just like normal he takes care of everything so i'm good so then it's a good job that over here uh women aren't in a situation where they just have to put up with men that treat them badly isn't it it's a good thing that women have their independence because you know some well i think people finding love in a ha and having a happy relationship is a wonderful thing okay but being single is much better than being in a toxic or unhappy relationship what if i don't need him to take care of everything what if i have my own too why and, I and, and, and that's great i'm not mad at you go for that but guess what in america and in north america in general women are the ones who are dying a little more than ever so we can say this stuff and say i want to take it go ahead no one's gonna stop you from making your choices but then also don't complain when you hit late 40s or whatever you don't find somebody and i'm like listen have you guys been settling on the shit that doesn't matter except asking somebody to be loyal and faithful is the bare minimum that you want from somebody okay that is not having too high standards they always go on about women having too high standards okay which some do but like wanting somebody loyal and faithful is the bare minimum okay because you know they, they say like in the red pill community they go on about how men shouldn't be shamed for their preferences like if a man says that he prefers a woman who's a virgin he shouldn't be shamed for that or if men prefer like slim women to overweight women society shouldn't be shaming men for that okay and that's fair enough but then the other way around if a woman says like well i want a man who's loyal and faithful and loves me for who I am and doesn't just see me as a sex toy well for some reason the red pill community seem to have the opinion that uh, that is having that is unreasonable to ask from a man so you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. I see old people that hold hands mm -hmm. they're still together 80 years old you guys want to know the uncomfortable reality the reason why they're together is because she's a traditional woman okay mm -hmm. the problem is that <laughs> women want traditional relationships they want traditional men but they don't want to be traditional women that's the problem. Actually, aren't these guys the other way around? Like, um, these guys from Fresh and Fit and, and the Red Pill community, they normally want women to get married while they're young and to have had as few sexual partners as possible. And they want the women to be loyal and faithful. And a lot of them want the women to be stay-at-home mums, or at least, like, they don't want a career woman. They want a homely, motherly woman, which is fair enough. Okay. But then the advice to men is to sleep around with as many women as possible. And then when you're middle-aged you're supposed to have like some 20 year old virgin uh traditional woman waiting for you and she's supposed to stay faithful to you well you're supposed to cheat on her so like these guys are asking women to be traditional women and they're saying that the men should not be traditional men okay it's the other way around you want women to stick to their traditional roles but you don't like tradition you don't want men to be traditional okay you know what i'm saying things have changed okay things yeah. have changed yeah. and if things have changed you cannot expect <laughs> things to be the same way they were in the past holding of the hands at that, that love, that undying love, that comes a lot of the time 
from the woman, number one, submitting to the man and understanding that he's the leader. So the women, woman should just submit, understand that he's the leader, keep her mouth closed, do whatever he wants, only put his needs first and put up with him cheating on her. And that's the secret to a happy marriage, you think? I'm willing to bet those old couples you see, which where they hold hands and all that, um, that's, com that's marriages where neither of them cheated before, okay? I number two, understanding this fundamental concept that a lot of modern women don't understand. Men and women are not the same at all. We're very different. The way we show love is the way you show love are two different things. What, uh, women are supposed to show love by being loyal and faithful and respectful, and the men are supposed to show love by being unfaithful, unloyal, and disrespectful? If I run around and smash girls, right, it's not personal. If you run around and smash dudes, it is personal. Because the reason why is that it takes women way more to have sex than men do. We can have sex emotionless. You can't. Men are not robots. A man could develop feelings for a woman that he's seeing as well. But also, obviously, there are women that have one night stands with guys and it means nothing and they don't develop any feelings. So would it be okay then for one of those women to like cheat on their husband? Would it be all right for them to say, oh, it's okay for me to have meaningless sex because I don't uh, develop a bond then I come home to my husband and still love him. It's like, no, because the main reason why it's considered wrong to cheat on your partner is because you don't want to hurt their feelings, okay? Because um, these guys, they always come out with this about how they're about facts and logic, and when um, women disagree with them, it's because the women are in their feelings. But the truth of the matter is, is that the main reason why people think it is wrong to cheat is because of the feelings of the uh, person that you're cheating on, you know, they can come out with all this um, evolutionary biology to try to, like, convince people that it's okay for a man to have his cake and eat it and just uh, disrespect his wife, but in reality, the reason why it's seen as wrong to cheat is because of feelings, is because you don't want to hurt your partner's feelings, and if there's somebody who really don't care about their partner's feelings, then they're not somebody worth being with. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's a big problem, and a lot of modern women can't grasp that, that Men, a lot of the times, are going to cheat or whatever, and they'll ruin a family, divorce a man, whatever it may be, and who suffers most? The kid is. Yeah, once again, if you cheat on your wife, you broke up the family. If you cheat on your wife, knowing that the kids are going to suffer, it is you who broke up the family, not the woman, if you were the cheater. If a couple are married or living together and, and, and they're in love and they've promised each other that they're going to be faithful forever, that if uh, the guy cheats, the woman should just be fine with it and should just forgive him. It's like, no, like, women have a right to... Um, their preference and their values of what they look for in a relationship as well, okay? If it's important to a woman that she wants a man who's loyal and faithful, then the woman has every right to ask for that, okay? Um, if somebody, male or female, if they are not cut out to be loyal and faithful, then they shouldn't enter into a relationship in the first place where they are promising to be loyal and faithful. And specifically, if you've got kids, you shouldn't be off cheating with other people, okay? Because you're showing, like, one, you, like, don't respect your wife, you don't care about breaking her heart, you're holding her up to a much higher moral uh, standard than what you hold yourself up to, okay? And you don't care about your kids either, because you're putting, you know, your need to have sex with somebody else before, like, just totally destroying the family okay and and like these fresh and fit guys like they advise men to dump a woman if she's cheating okay now if a woman is upset by her husband or boyfriend cheating she has every right to say like well you know i uh respect myself enough to not want to put up with that okay so that's all i've got to say on that for now thank you for listening